Hey everybody, it's Alexander Fathon, and we have another Christmas poem today. This one is called What to Write About Christmas Time, and it goes like this. It's Christmas time. What should I write? Should I write of cold or snow or ice? These things which I find very nice. I love going from a cold winter night into a house of warmth and light and drinking cocoa to make me feel right. I love the cold and snow and ice. But no, I don't think they are things about which I'll write. How about Christmas trees or Christmas lights? Those pretty decorations of Christmas time. I love to see a tree with lights, making window look beautifully bright, while along the eaves are Christmas lights, like miniature stars glowing in the night. I love Christmas decorations. They're very nice. But no, I don't think they are things about which I'll write. What about joy to the world, or silent night, or chestnuts roasting on an open fire? I do love the music of Christmas time, with its joyous and sacred holiday rhymes. But no, I don't think there are things about which I'll write. What about cake, or cookies, or pie? The delectable treats which are tasty to try, and fill up a house around this holiday time. I do love to eat Mama's cookies and pies, but no, I don't think there are things about which I'll write. What about Christ, the Savior who came here to stand in the line and take our bullet and die, who some years long ago as a child arrived? Good point. It is true he's the heart of this time. We'd never have Christmas if it wasn't for Christ. It's incredibly crazy that God, the Most High, would ever decide to come down to us here as a small human child and suffer the pains, temptations, and trials that we mortals all carry as we walk this world's miles. It's incredibly crazy that God, the Most High, would send Jesus, his Son, and himself here to die and give each person a chance at living their life eternally and forever with God when they die. Yes, he's awesome and wonderful, the one we call Christ. I think he is something about which I'll write. So I do this sometimes when I really don't know what to write about, and I'll just write about trying to find something to write about. And that's what this poem is, basically. And I don't know, like, I couldn't find the poem on my blog to give you the specific title because I have, like, over 500 posts right now and I have to go digging through all of that every time I want to find a specific poem. But I have done it before, at least twice, where I wrote about either trying to find a good rhyme or something good to write about or just having writer's block. Also, like, I find when I get into, you know, cycles of worry, which I did talk about back in my poem, The Reason, um, that sometimes I worry around Christmas time. And to be honest, I worry a lot in general. I'm a person who tends to worry a lot, unfortunately, and I focus on that worry. But I found that when I do worry a lot, it impacts my creative process. And so sometimes I feel like I've got nothing to write about or I've written about every Christmassy thing possible. Like, And then I go on my blog and I go back a couple of years and I find all these poems that are extremely creative and Christmassy. And I'm like, well, what happened? Like, why can't I write poems like I did then? And part of it is because my, you know, writing skills are always changing and evolving and they're going to go up and down. But part of it is also because maybe at that time I wasn't in such a place of worry or stress. Think about the saying, uh, you know, or not the saying, but the f phrase of having a narrow mind. And for me, that's kind of what worry is sometimes. It's like I have something in front of me that I'm worrying about and I focus so much on that thing. I narrow my mind onto that thing and I can't see anything else. I can't see solutions to my stress. And I also sometimes can't see good ideas. And so... This was kind of a way of taking lemons and making lemonade, in a way. And I, you know, I kind of hope that you enjoyed it. And hopefully I can get a little bit more creative for the next couple of poems. But thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.